How's it going everybody? This is the first video from my PyTorch series that is going to teach you how to minimize every function using PyTorch. By every function I mean every function that can be written in terms of PyTorch operations. I will be solving one univariate function minimization as the simplest case to get you familiarized with the matter. Then I will be solving a multivariate case which is this case. As I explained by the end of this video, you are going to learn how to minimize every user-defined function using PyTorch. Well, if you are someone that looks only for the code, you made it. Here is the code. Only with nine lines of code, you can find the minimizer of this function, which is one. Of course, you need to import PyTorch module. I have also created a Google Notebook supporting this video, including all code snippets like the one you are seeing right now. You can find it on my GitHub page. I'll put a link to that in the description section below. Notice you can click on the Google Notebook icon to open and run it. Now let's get into the details. PyTorch minimizes function using the gradient descent algorithm. Here the question is what we need for running the gradient descent algorithm. First of all, we need an initial condition. Second, we should know what the optimization variable is. And the third, learning rate or step length or step size. The two last ones are the names that are used in the optimization literature. Finally, we need the number of steps that we use to decrease the function value. Before proceeding, we should ask whether PyTorch can do all of the above for us. And the answer is yes. We know this function is a strongly convex function, so it has a unique global minimizer, which is x star equals to 1. We start from x0 equals to 0 as our initial value. Now let's start understanding the code from the beginning right here. Torch the tensor is used to define a tensor. Scalars, matrices, and arrays of numbers are all tensors. So we define the initial value as a tensor. There are two things that you should be aware of. First, you need this dot, dot right here because this makes our tensor to be a float number. The more important one is the requires underscore grad variable that is said to be true. This tells PyTorch that every function, including x0, is a differentiable function and has a derivative. We are not going to use x0, so we assign x0 to x. From now on, every function, including x, is a differentiable function since x is a function of x0 whose requires underscore grad is true. In this line, we are defining our algorithm. As you can see here, mathematically, we are defining a gradient descent algorithm. x inside square brackets means the, the optimization variable is x. It is inside square brackets because optimization variables should be iteratable objects. And square brackets make x to be a Python list, which is iteratable. Also, we set our learning rate to be 0.1. Here we tell PyTorch that we do optimization for 30 steps. Optimizer does zero underscore grad zeros out g, but what is g? g is the sum of all previous gradients except for the current step. That is why we have k minus one here, not k. We have to do this because we are working with instantaneous gradients, not some of them. Here in this line, we are evaluating our function at the current iterate, which is k. Once we know the function value, we can take its derivative. f dot backward means take the derivative of f. But why backward means take the derivative or the gradient? Because PyTorch is used for training neural networks, and when we find the gradient of the loss of a neural network, 
we use the backpropagation algorithm. That is why we have f dot backward. Notice once f dot backward is found, the derivative gets added to g, but we already set g to be zero. Therefore, the new g would be the current gradient. Finally, we update our x using optimizer.step. This dot step does this step for us automatically and updates x to a new one. Now let us see the output. As you can see, the value of f is decreasing as the number of iteration increases. And x is getting closer and closer to 1 as the number of steps increase. I formatted the output using this line of code. Here the first f means format the string. Everything that is in the curly braces, I mean i plus 1, is a variable. If we put column here inside curly braces, it means that the number of spaces that the variable i plus 1 can occupy in the print statement is 2. Whatever that is not in the curly braces would be a plain string like the function value is. f is the function value that we calculated. And when we put dot item, we extract its value from the tensor containing it. 1.4f means we have a float number with four decimal places for our x to be printed out. Now we want to minimize a multivariate function that minimizes two norm or Euclidean norm of ax minus b. Here a has to be an invertible matrix to have a unique solution. Otherwise the gradient descent algorithm converges to different values. The inter invertibility of a makes the, the objective function be a strongly convex function. Notice when we define tensors of A and B, we should not set the requires grad to be true because they are constant matrices. I expanded the way a tensor is defined for a matrix or for a vector so that you can get exactly what is going on. Notice the solution is a vector of 1, 2, 3 for this objective function. The following code snippet minimizes our objective function. Our initial value is a vector of zeros. As opposed to the univariate function, we need to do more steps. Here we do 2000 steps. We have the same learning rate as 0.1 and we zero out the sum of previous gradients as before. For calculating f, I am using norm function in PyTorch, which is torch.norm, and also I am using torch.matmol, which stands for matrix multiplication, to create and build this objective value right here. The output is this printout. As you can see, as the number of steps increases, x gets closer and closer to 1, 2, 3, and the objective value decreases. I formatted the output using the same f format at the beginning. But before going to that, I should say that I print out the statement every 100 steps. And then we have f format here. Also, because x is a tensor or a vector, I loop over every item and extract that item uh, from its tensor and put them into a list. Once I have a list, I convert that list to a string because I want to have a constant uh, string that takes up only 18 spaces. And this right here is a backward slash that helps me to break the print statement into two lines. When you do this, make sure that you put another F here. 
what did we learn we learned to minimize every function using pytorch and that finishes up the video thank you for watching my videos and i hope you've enjoyed this video there are two things you can do to support me you can support me by liking my videos and giving them a thumbs up also you can share my videos with anyone who you think would find them useful finally please make sure to subscribe to my channel to get notifications for new videos and have a great day